If you don't know the bool modifier, today is your lucky day. The first thing you want to do is select your default cube, and we're going to rename this default cube over here. We're going to call it main. So we know that this is our main object. Once we've done that, we're going to right click new collection and we're going to call this collection our cutters. Anything that we cut goes, uh, uses cutters goes in here and we always make sure, rule number one, make sure you never render your cutters. Now that we've done that, we're going to select our default cube and we're going to go to our modify stack. We're going to do everything non-destructively and we'll start off with the bevel tool. And with the bevel tool in mind, we're going to just increase these segments. We'll turn that off just to six. And when you look at this, it's got these lumps here. So you just right click Shade Smooth, and that looks pretty good to me. To take this one step further, we're going to go to our Object uh, Properties, Object Data Properties, and then go to Normals and Auto Smooth at 30. Once you've done that, we are a four way to start adding our bool modifier. And this is the whole point of this tutorial. So we're going to do a couple of shapes here. We're going to first press Shift D and do its own shape. And we'll do one over here on the corner. One of those spots that can usually be quite tricky. There we go. And this now is going to be a cutter. So I'm going to just chuck it in here. Rename it. I'm going to call this cutter 1. And rules with cutters, they should never render. And if you'd like to see what you're doing, go to Object Properties. And go to Visibility. Oh, sorry, Viewport. And change from Textured to Wire. There we go. That's looking pretty good to me. And now you can just, re before you reshape it, you can select your main object. And then go to your modify stack, choose bool, and select the cutter one. And now you've got this beautiful cutting tool where you can just move this around and you can just scale this up. And you can create any type of cut that you like in a non-destructive way, a non-permanent way, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So we're going to create this interesting cut like this. And we're going to really test the limits of the bull modifier to see how crazy we can go with our creations. So I'm going, to, I'm going to chuck it to about here. And we're going to leave it like so. And I'm just going to select this cutter and press H to hide. And this is our first cut. It's still looking pretty clean. I'm quite happy. But perhaps we should take it further. Let's press Alt H to bring that back. And let's select our cut over here and say, you know what? Actually, I want to use the... Um, bevel modifier on this oh we already are I want to use the bevel modifier on this and I want to increase the amount so it gives a slightly different shape isn't that cool so we'll do that and uh, well, now that we've got that interesting cut let's take this a step further let's say you know what I don't really want to cut I just want those lines so we're going to use a solidify modifier we make everything nice and solid except for these lines over here and uh, we can choose how thick we want these lines and also one thing we probably want to do off the bat just looking at our cutter we want to add a subdivision surface and we want to bring it to the top and maybe one le le level down because it's all about the order of operation Okay, so we're going to make it look like it's on 4. And because we because we want to save our computer, we'll leave this on 1. But we know it's going to look super smooth when we render because we'll put this on 4. Right, so that's looking pretty good. But now we want to take this to the next level beyond this. We're going to add another Solidify modifier. In fact, before we even do that, let's just select this Solidify modifier and make sure it's negative 1. Yes, it is. Now that we've done that, we can just select this. Duplicate. And now we're going to make this 0 0.. I do apologize about that. Let's make it negative 1. Minimize that and work with the second one. Now we can make the second one negative 0 0.9. And that just makes it thicker. So we're just going to go up here until we get the desired effect that we are going for. And perhaps we want to make this thinner. Here we go. And we want to bring it a little bit closer. And now we've got these two line cuts, which is pretty cool. And now we're going to take it a step further. We're going to add another solidify modifier. And we are going to just bring this in.
to about there and with this one we might decide to make this one complex and then we let's take it to the okay let's leave the shape for now as is because it's quite complicated and we press H to hide and we've got this beautiful cut but let's take it a step further let's create a round cut so we're going to press uh, shift A mesh and we're going to use a cube and G just move the cube out of here and I'm going to make this the perfect sphere and then we're going to add it to our scene so uh, the first thing we want to do is go to add subdivision surface Catmore clock is perfect something like this should be perfect now with the perfect sphere unfortunately we do have to apply this cutter so it's done then we can press tab and with everything selected if you don't have everything selected you can just press A and then you're going to hold in down shift alt and then A and let's try that again shift alt S yeah shift alt S for sphere and you're going to move this all the way down until the top corner of here says 1.02 sphere and then you can press tab to go into object mode and we've got a perfect sphere now how would this look if we put this cut on top of this cut well first let's call this our cutter 2 and once again we don't render our cuts cuts and this cut we prefer looking at our visibility through the lenses of a wireframe and now that we've got this I'm gonna press numpad 7 and I'm gonna press G and we're gonna chuck it over here something like that seems like it's gonna make a terrible cut so there's only one way to find out we can now select this go to our cutters and we can add another boolean modifier but we will delete this and we'll select our cutter 2 and with our cutter 2 selected I'm just gonna we can still move this around or any way we like but I'm gonna leave it where it is and I'm gonna press H to hide and we can just take a look at how clean this cut really is now currently we've shaded smooth but we can still see some remnants over here so let's see if we can fix that quickly so I'm gonna press Alt H right click shade smooth hide it and that's looking a lot better now isn't that crazy anyways I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial teaching you about the boolean modifier how to use it correctly and all the cool fun things you can do to make any shape that you could possibly think of please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one